Last year, China held the third Belt and Road Forum for International Cooperation, a grand event indeed. Even some Western media noted that the Belt and Road Initiative bears increasing significance in today's international landscape. Could you share the outlook for Belt and Road cooperation in the next stage? Thank you. Pakistan Cooperation Xi Jinping 主席提出共建“一带一路”倡议十年来，很多国家都感受到了“一带一路”建设带来的实实在在的好处。去年，中国举办了第三届“一带一路”国际合作高峰论坛，可以说是盛况空前。甚至一些西方媒体也认为，在当前国际形势下，“一带一路”价值更加突出。您对下阶段共建“一带一路”有何展望？习近平主席提出“一带一路”倡议。Years ago, Belt and Road Cooperation has indeed produced fruitful outcomes. The BRI has become the most popular global public good and the largest platform for international cooperation. It has also become a pathway to cooperation, opportunity, and prosperity for partner countries seeking joint development. At the third Belt and Road Forum for International Cooperation, President Xi Jinping announced eight major steps that China would take. This marks a new stage in high-quality development of Belt and Road Cooperation. China will work with all parties to uphold the Silk Road spirit, deliver on the outcomes of the forum, and usher in a second golden decade of Belt and Road Cooperation. We will promote the upgrading of physical connectivity. We will continue to develop a multi-dimensional global infrastructure connectivity network that is high quality, sustainable and resilient, and covers sea, land and air. We will accelerate the development of a digital Silk Road, redouble efforts to build a green Silk Road, and work with BRI partners in addressing various new challenges. We will promote the strengthening of institutional connectivity. We will stay committed to the principle of planning together, building together, and benefiting together, stick to the philosophy of open, green, and clean cooperation, and keep to the goal of pursuing high-standard, people-centered, and sustainable cooperation. We will seek greater synergy between the BRI and the development strategies of all sides, promote both signature projects and small and beautiful programs, and make active efforts for an open world economy. We want to make the BRI a lasting opportunity shared by all. We will promote the deepening of people-to-people -people connectivity. We will have more intercivilizational dialogue among BRI partners, support non-governmental and subnational exchanges, and carry out a wide range of cultural and people-to-people -people interactions so that the Silk Road spirit will take hold in people's hearts. The type of modernization China pursues is not one that benefits China alone. We hope that high-quality Belt and Road cooperation will serve serve as an engine of the common development of all countries and, a, and an accelerator for the modernization of the whole world.